most people don't know how extremely easy it is to draw heads. So today I am showing you the Michael Hampton method. You will just need an ungodly amount of steps to donate one of your kidneys and to sacrifice your soul to the devil and then you'll be able to draw faces like you've never done before. You will be so fast after you finish this tutorial that you don't even have the slightest idea. Mew. Start by drawing the basic face structure that I explained in the Loomis method video. Yeah, exactly, there is a 60 second short that you should watch before this one. I will be very helpful and I will even add the link at the top of the screen and in the description box. Check it out. Now that we got over this and you are a pro at drawing base structures, let's go on and explain how to better understand the 3D structure of a face. The first topic is the eyes. Let's take this picture of the amazing, gorgeous, talented Donald Gleason and let's use it as a base to abstract a standard face structure. These are the eye sockets. Imagine them like they are forming a plane, like I'm drawing here in blue. These are the four corners of our plane. And as you can see, it's not vertical, but it has an angle with the skull. Next step is the nose. From the top part of the eye sockets, draw a trapezoid that ends where the nose bone connects to the forehead. Now let's highlight the main volume of the nose. In this first step, try to abstract the shape of the nose. Once you understand the basic shapes, you'll be able to use them in different heads and in different perspectives. Yes, I am saying it. To understand how it works, you will have to repeat this exercise multiple times and practice. When you're drawing the mouth, you have to consider the volume of the dental structure underneath. Look at this example by somebody that can actually draw, Michael Hampton. Always keep this trick in mind when drawing a mouth. It will help you to get the correct curvature and perspective of the mouth. The second to last part is the chin. You can see well in this picture where the curvature of the chin is. Trace an arch that underlines that baby chin and then trace a trapezoid that starts from the sides of it. The short side of the trapezoid will be centered under the nose. Keep it in the middle of the line that splits the face in two. And don't be two-faced. That's not nice. The final step is to find the cheekbones area. Sharp as a knife, look at this. This will help you to better understand the volume of the face. Trace an arch that starts from the top of the ear and reaches the corner of the chin. Congrats! You just found the holy grail of Caucasian beauty! The cheekbones. Yes, that's, that's high cheekbones. And congrats again, bestie! These are the main volumes of a face. Now you can take your own sheet and start practicing with different pictures and with different subjects. You just have to add a detail here and a detail there and it's all done. Uh, of course, it's the easiest thing ever existed. Or what, you can't do it? Are you peasant? While working on your doodles, you'll notice that every person has different shapes and proportions. Now you just have to have fun and find out how the different human faces and the different perspectives work. All this study will definitely help you to create interesting characters in the future. For example, like him, like him, like her. Definitely like her. Yeah, not like them. That's, that's a no. Not like no. them. No! And this is the final result. I hope to see you in my next video. Mews. Hey, yeah, I have one final tip. Be sure to find the reference picture with the correct lightning. In this picture of the amazing, incredible, gorgeous Donna Gleason, you can clearly see the volumes and the shapes of his face and this will definitely help you. While a picture like this, with a front light, without any shadow, will make it way harder to study facey shapes. Keep that in mind. Mew.